The following show contains adult content. It's not our intent to offend anyone, but we want to inform you that if you are a child under the age of 18 or get offended easily, this next show may not be for you. The content, opinions, and subject matter of these shows are solely the choice of your show hosts and their guests, and not those of the Entertainment Network or any affiliated stations. Any comments or inquiries should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for listening. I think I'm going to be like Rachel when she starts off her thing. And I'm going to talk about that because somebody made a comment, a couple comments about her that we're going to have to bitch at people for, for, but welcome to the adventures of pipe man. We were banned from one of the pipe nuts, uh, TikTok live last week. Uh, that's how crazy this show got. And maybe we can do even better this week and get blocked again. That's the goal. Okay. And we're going to talk about a lot of great stuff. The reunion of Slayer right after this show, there's going to be announcement of the lineup of aftershock, which is on the pipe man radio tour. We're going to do ticket giveaways for aftershock incarceration, ladder than life bourbon and beyond. We're going to talk about my move in the motivational segment. I uh, pipe man positively pipe man. We're going to talk about worry and what's going on i think we should also in the pipe peeves rant about people nowadays and their access to communication and their lack of using it properly plus there's a lot of other shit we got to talk about including some stupid rodeo in texas that one of the pipe nuts was at and uh she's going to report on that it's not stupid though. I love radio rodeos are cool, especially if somebody gets smashed by a bull because that's even funnier. So let's welcome to the show the pipe nuts. Ooh. And there she is, the, the swamp nut from Louisiana. <laughs> what kind of filter is that you're using, Rebel? I don't have a filter on. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. Look at that no, filter. I don't. It, it's like a how my grandmother in the seventies wore makeup filter. No, 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 no. Well, I just want to clue you in, Rebel. Just the shirt. The, the light blue eyeshadow went out with my grandmother when she passed away. No, obviously not, because it's still here. No, nope, the light blue eyeshadow matches the shirt. Says you're it, killing me, Smalls. It, it clashes with the color of your hair, though. Okay, it's just like. Your face is white. Your eyes are blue. Your uh, your hair is red. Do you think you're the American flag? Maybe you're the Costa Rican flag because it's the same colors. Do you know how many flags in the world have the same colors as the U.S. flag? We copied everybody and just. Hey man, don't be an asshole. Starts. Okay, <laughs> listen. The other fucking pipe nut. Okay, Let, Rachel. Okay, she's the chef nut. And she's eating nuts on the adventures of pipe nuts. That's all I eat. So I got to say, Rachel. What? Say it. What the, say hell, it. Is, what the hell is wrong with you? A lot. <laughs> can can lot. you give us the top five things that are wrong with you? Okay. Well, I dropped my phone into Clear Lake. That was a pain in the ass. No, that's something that happened to you. What's wrong with you? The top. I'm a narcissist. Things. Nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And if you weren't a narcissist, what would the other four things be? I've been like trying to recover from that rodeo that we're going to talk about later since last Wednesday. Okay. Well, we'll talk about the rodeo, but what's yeah. wrong with you? Nothing. I told you I'm perfect. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's what? a bunch of bullshit like ah! everybody else in the world now. And that is part of the pipe peeve, okay? People are so full of shit nowadays about everything. Nobody checks anything. Nobody reads anything. Everybody just 
thinks their opinions are facts. They just say whatever they want. And not only that, like the excuses that people use for stuff nowadays is getting more and more moronic. Speaking of which, what's your top five uh, uh, things, uh, Rebel? What's wrong with me? Yes. I put up with too much shit. Um, I need to learn to stop saying yes. Um, yes. I'm a yes girl. Yes. You be. She's not talking uh, about like, just sex, okay? I want to be ahead. a yes girl. Like, oh, God, speaking of sex, wait a minute. Hold up. I got yes. riled up yesterday, and I'm trying to be really quick about this. All right, so a guy wanted to meet me yesterday. He was having a bad day. So I figured, okay, fine. I'll go meet you after work. Wrong phone. All right. Um, I figured, okay, sure, he's having a bad day. We'll meet for tea or something. <laughs> Oh no! The person who I have I've been talking to him for two years, but I have never seen him in person. Okay, oh. never in person. He says, and I quote: "Wait, let me scroll back. You can't be that far down because I got frustrated. Um, I'm having a bad day. I have a big, brand new minivan. Minivan. Okay, first <laughs> with the seats flat floor. I'm sure. I'm sure." Toy. I'm sure for a hotel, I'm um, trying to find a place to rent right now. So, are you living in your minivan? Maybe. At what point in time? Not it's, the blue makeup. It's, it's a big thing nowadays, like uh, living in I conversion I am so beds. turned on. If you don't want him, I will take him. Oh, oh my God. God. He Brandon. has a minivan? He said minivan. I'm like, is it white with no windows? All right, yes. human trafficking much? No. God. No, wait, wait. wait. Human time. traffickers don't use minivans, okay? They use, like, full conversion vans. All right, Come kidnappers. On. All right, I don't know. The white van with no windows. Kidnappers. Oh, this what? dude, at what I'm point in time... Fighting. That sounds no. awesome. He's perfect. No. At what point in time in two years did you Hold on, think Rebel. Hold on a second, Rebel. Up. Hold on a second, Rebel. Hey, Juan, can you throw up that... That one banner that has the live talk for TV show in the bottom. Well, never mind. You got the scrolling going on. Never mind. All right. Go on, Rebel. So at what point in time in two years <laughs> did you think that I was going to just jump in the back of your van and please you? Okay. I, so uh, you would no. love it here, Rebel. You would love it here in Costa Rica because let me tell you about the Collectivo. Okay. All right. <laughs> So the Collectivo, okay, there's different ways to get around in Costa Rica. You could rent a car, you could rent a quad, you could rent a motorcycle, but there's the taxis, the formal taxis, the ones that say taxi on it. There's Uber, and then there's the Collectivo, which is the most popular mode of transportation. At first, I was a little sketch about it. Now I love using it. So let me explain what the Collectivo is. Come with is. a happy ending? No, <laughs> but the happy ending is that you live. Okay. And oh, I'll Jesus. tell you why. Okay. Because the Collectivo, basically it's not a form. They're taxis, but they're not taxis. The way I kind of explain it is it's like if you combine Uber and hitchhiking and without the app. So in other words, it's just random Ticos that are driving around and they, you take a, you, you say Collectivo and you get in and they take you where you want to go. So Uber, there's one place that I go that Uber would cost like 12 bucks. The formal taxi would cost like four bucks. The Collectivo costs only $2. And basically you just put your hand out like you're in New York wave hailing a cab, or they'll just beep at you to let you know they're the Collectivo. Like I was walking out of a grocery store at bags Guy was driving by, noticed right away, pulled over and beat. And he was Collectivo. And basically, they're not regulated by anybody. They have no registration, no licensing as far as a taxi. They're just somebody getting in their car and picking people up. And so... And the passerbys, do they stop or do they just push you out the door when they get to no, your No, stop? no, no, no. They're very nice. They're very... Oh, okay. and, and they usually will, like, they'll stop by the bus stops because that's another way you can get around is the bus. But the bus, if it shows up, you're lucky. Like, there, there's... It's not like something that is definitive, like taking a bus in New York, okay? Or a bus in Houston or a bus in New Orleans 
or bus in Miami. Oh, wait, it, it, it's Rome. basically, if it shows up, it shows up. In fact, one time I was at bus stop and I took, that's the first time I took the collectivo because girl was asking me, uh, do you know when the bus comes? I'm like, no clue. And she had been there for like 25 minutes. So I guess that the bus wasn't coming. Okay. <laughs> so I, tra- I was day. hesitant to take the collectivo at first because basically it's like hitchhiking and you know, I hitchhiked a lot back in the day when it was okay to hitchhike. Only a few people would get killed. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, when was it ever okay to hitchhike? Well, well listen, Take in California, <laughs> every on ramp had hitchhikers. There was like a line. Like you had to be, it's like surfing. You had to be in the lineup. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes I would be late to school because there were too many others uh, hitchhiking. So <clears throat> anyway. Here's the thing. I've actually seen girls here in Costa Rica hitchhiking too in town. And they're like young girls. I'm like, they're stupid. You're in a foreign country where there could be cartels and shit and all kinds of shit going on. You're hitchhiking now in 2024. But okay. The Collectivo, probably not much better. But I ask people like about it. And they're like, no, you don't have to worry about it during the day. You know, it's perfectly <laughs> safe during the day because they don't want to ruin a good thing. Everybody's making money. So you're not going to have because I was talking to my brother. I, I was telling about him like, yeah, I'd be waiting for the windows to go up. The doors lock. No, they do the opposite. They roll the windows down. You get a nice breeze, you know, and you get your ride and it's very cheap. But, you know, and it's not a fancy vehicle. It's not like a luxury Uber. It's more like, you know. Uh, a high class Pinto, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's the deal. So let's go. So the Collectivo, I, I think we should. The only reason it would not work in the United States is there's too many shootings and too many criminals and too much crap going on. Here, at least we can trust the criminals to not kill you during the day. Okay, only at night. Like, oh. the, yeah, yeah, you don't do certain things. Not my night. neighborhood. Of the way we got people, gunshots and everything right down the street all day and night. Is that what happened to your face? <laughs> okay, Rebel, what's your uh, other fi- uh, of your five? Um, what's wrong with me? Um, I reached that level of crazy that only people have imagined and can't fathom that is. Um, two more. Um, I like that one. I'm going to, I like that one. I have commitment I issues. I think Rachel's got you beat in that one, but go ahead. <laughs> I have commitment issues and I need to learn to finish when I start before I pile on anything else. I like it. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. So now ask me. Okay, um, what's five things wrong with you, Pipe Man? Okay, so five things wrong with Dean or Pipe Man? Because that is different. Okay, both. Dean. Both. Dean first. I say, well, I okay, I say we go with Pipe Man. I'm going to overrule. <laughs> I, 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 There's Pipe number Man. one thing that's wrong. He's not listening to us. <laughs> the number one thing that's wrong with Pipe Man is I tried to start the Pipe Man only fans. I opened the account <laughs> and it blows my mind how these people start these only fans accounts <laughs> because my account got rejected 10 times oh, in the no. last 24 hours because it's a whole major process. I think. You know what? People just think, oh, these these girls, they get on OnlyFans and you don't know who they are and blah, blah, blah. Listen, it takes more background checking and work to open an OnlyFans than it does to be president of the United States, obviously by our <laughs> candidates, okay? Yeah, sure. which, which, speaking of which, what's wrong? <laughs> another thing wrong with Pipe Man, and then we'll get back to the rest, is Pipe Man has not been elected president yet. Okay, I ran in 2016. I did get votes. Not enough to beat Trump, though. And I did run in 2020, but unfortunately, I got blocked, blocked by Biden. Okay? Mm-hmm. This is Pipe you didn't Man's smell good. <laughs> yeah, well, he can't smell. Uh, it, this is Pipe Man's time. So I think, Juan... We need to hear why people need to vote for Pipe Man for president in 2024. And this might also answer the second question of what's wrong with Pipe Man. 
Hey, folks, this is Bill Clinton. I listen to W4CY.com. And just remember, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Bring back the good old days, and I will have sexual relations with that woman. Vote <laughs> Pipe Man for Prez. I'm still trying to figure out this whole TikTok thing with trying to voice it and match it up with the thing. I was a little off. It was like when I was saying it while it was playing, it was like a Japanese movie. So that's what's wrong with Pipe Man. Okay, but so back to the OnlyFans. Okay, yeah. so they have you upload a picture of your license and then upload a picture of you holding your license. Yeah. Ten times I got rejected because they say <laughs> it's not me. And, and I'm trying to figure out. And then I did contact support. And I'm mm -hmm. like, this is me. It's my license. It's my picture. I took it. Blah, blah, blah. Why is this not getting approved? And they responded back with the generic. Just That's the problem nowadays. Another pipe peeve is like yeah. with AI, yeah. no humans speak to you. Okay. No. So I'm getting this email back. Mm -hmm. It says the exact same thing it does on the website. Like, that doesn't solve my problem. I understand it has to be a picture of me and clear. It was. It says no filters. I didn't use a filter. It said, you know, it had all these rules. There were like 50 million rules. If I was a female, I'd be like, screw this. I'm just going and hitting the street corner because it's a lot. <laughs> okay. Hey, you, you know, got to do what I'm, you got to do. I'm just saying. But. I will tell you, as motivational pipe man, I my favorite mantra is by and by uh, the author Og Mandino. He's the author of several books, but my favorite in the world besides mine. Which, by the way, go out and get my book, not Pipe Man's book, but Dean's book. Who said life doesn't come with an owner's manual? My grandmother always used to say, "Life doesn't come with an owner's manual." Well, yes, it freaking does, and I wrote it. Okay. <laughs> Not Pipe Man. It's a whole different realm. But okay. one of my favorite authors and favorite books is The Greatest Salesman in the World. It's a really cool book. Uh, man, Dino. Yep. The first part of the book is this fictional story about this kid named Habib. And he wants to be the greatest salesman in the world. And so he approaches the greatest salesman in the world and says, you know, I want to, you know, I want to be a greatest salesman in the world. Will you help me? And so... Uh, he does agree to help him, except here's the deal. And this is something that when I was in my 20s, like I did and everybody did, this is something that people in their 20s in 2024 are not willing to do. And, that, and then they wonder why they're broke and, ha and, and don't get the things they want out of life. Because what he had the, uh, the kid do is he goes, you will work for me for one year for no pay whatsoever. And after that, and you will do whatever I say. And after that one year, you too will be the greatest salesman in the world. And now when I was in my 20s, somebody said that to me. I believed them wholeheartedly. I did. And because mindset is, is definitely key. Okay. And, and being willing to do whatever you have to do to become a success. That, like you took it, whether you like them or not. You take people like Bezos and Elon Musk and mm -hmm. all those people, they did exactly that. Everybody thinks they just woke up and they were rich. No, they're ultra rich and ultra successful because they were willing to do what nobody else was willing to do. And they worked their ass off from nothing, with nothing, with nobody giving them anything. Amazon started out of a garage. Okay. Ray Kroc. The inventor of a franchise uh, of McDonald's was 66 years old, broke. Nobody was giving him a job, and he did whatever it took, and then he became one of the most famous people ever. Colonel Sanders was 66 also, broke, had this chicken recipe. He went around the whole country, had no money, no prospects, went around the whole country and pitched his chicken recipe and got turned down a thousand times before Kentucky Fried Chicken was born. Okay? You could go, the list is on and on. Every successful person was willing to work for free and willing to do whatever it takes to get there. You got to pay your dues. Okay? Talk about music. I'm wearing a Metallica shirt. 
I was at Metallica's first show ever where 25 people were there. Metallica, everybody thinks they're this overnight success. There is no such thing as overnight success. Overnight mm -hmm. success takes about 20 years. Metallica ate bread sandwiches, bologna sandwiches with no bread. For 10 years. <laughs> they, they all slept on a floor with four other bands, including Slayer, or, mm -hmm. and, and, and which we'll talk about in the show. And basically, they starved for 10 years before they got famous because they were willing to go that extra mile. That's the difference. There's so many people that quit before the finish line. So Habib agreed. And he, he, he did this, okay? Mm -hmm. And now I say, like most kids today, they wouldn't do that. They're like, gimme, 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 I'm entitled, blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing that, blah, 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 blah. And then you wonder why you're in your 30s and 40s and still living with your parents and don't even have a car. <laughs> I wonder. So, but anyway, at the end of the year, he had all his training in that year and he did indeed become the greatest salesman in the world. And the key to this was the second part of the book. And it's a very thin book, okay? And you won't find it in the business section. You won't find it in the motivational section. It's actually in the religious section. And not because it's a religious book, but it kind of mocks religion in one sense, but also copies it. Because the second part of the book is these ancient scrolls, kind of like the Torah. or the That's Dead where the 30 scrolls. days come in. I thought I was yeah. confusing the book, but I, all right, yeah, yeah, he had nope. to work for a year and then there's 30 days in every month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's these 10 ancient scrolls and it takes you 10 months to read this little teeny book. If you follow the instructions and that's key too, following mm -hmm. instructions. Okay. Because you can change one little thing in a recipe. Uh, we'll ask our in-house chef here. If you change one thing to a recipe, it changes the whole outcome of that dish. Doesn't it? Yes. Miss Rachel. Yeah. Our, our okay. chef. So basically, these ancient mm -hmm. scrolls, the instructions are, is each scroll you read for 30 days, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, once at night, and one of those times has to be out loud, okay? And mm -hmm. basically, what it's doing is, in order for us as humans to change habits, you, you can't just change a habit, you can't just quit something, you have to replace, replace it. it, okay? So people that are trying to quit certain things have to replace it with good things. So what this does is it programs you to change your habits, your way of thinking. And so each scroll takes 30 days to read. So mm -hmm. it takes you 10 months to read the book. My favorite scroll in there is about I will persist until I succeed, which is something that if you were to ask me one of my best habits as Dean or Pipe Man, that's it. Okay. I will persist until I succeed. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion and I refuse to walk and talk with the sheep. The sore house of failure is not my destiny. I will persist until I succeed. And it's a way of life and it's a way of thinking. And I think people need to stop taking pharmaceuticals to cure their problems. I think they need to stop on focusing on all these labels and all this negative stuff. All we do is focus on negative nowadays. Why not focus on yourself, retrain your mind, have a positive attitude, have a positive mindset, because you will, of the laws of attract and, and attraction, attract what you think about, your inner vocabulary. If you talk shit to yourself, you're going to get shit. You talk gold to yourself, you're going to get gold. Do you want shit or do you want gold? So oh, there you go. So that's why Rachel's shit. Uh, oh, that's and, it. And but wait she, a minute! Didn't we ask about the negative things about you, not the positive? That's yeah, the positive right. Thing? No, I don't even know how. He's that, just as bad that. as I am. I, See, I don't even know how that tangent started. It no, it, it it started with those things because you gotta look at those bad things and turn them into a positive. So I said I'm gonna persist until I succeed. So by next week, mm -hmm. I will have beaten OnlyFans and won. So that's the first bad thing. All the right. second bad, wait, wait, wait. How does that be a bad thing? Because no, the bad thing was that fans? I couldn't get the OnlyFans approved because it's not me. But 
That's I think not I have anything to, bad about you. I think well, you misunderstood Well, because I call the it the pipe man, and it's, you know, I figured out the problem. I uh, wasn't wearing my shades in the picture, nor was it in the thing. Second issue, okay, second bad thing is, you know, anybody that's known me for a while in the show knows that I change things up a lot, especially when it comes to my hair. And I've come to a conclusion recently that my current hair condition is one of my problems and one of my negatives because I don't know. So as you know, I've had every color. I did everything. I had the faux hawk and co and co and then COVID came out and I grew it out, put it in the ponytail. Uh, and then last year when I was in the Netherlands and the weather was all nasty and my hair was getting all ridiculous because of the mist and cold. And I was like, screw this. And I chopped it off. But then I was going to Bali after that. So I'm like, yeah, I can't have the blue hair because it's just going to come out in the surf. So I had this guy in the Netherlands give me a new style. I'm like, do whatever you want. And I usually do that with a lot of hairstylists that I promote. And I'm like, do whatever you want. And it did look good at first. And now I'm sick of it. And especially certain things I do, it doesn't look good. Like when I get out of the ocean after surfing, it doesn't look good. Whereas when I had the faux hawk, all I had to do is go juke, juke, and I'm fine. And uh, so here's the thing. With blue hair, everywhere I went, people would stop me and go, oh, my God, that is the coolest hair. And then. You know, it's funny because when you're in your 50s with blue hair, you're stylish. If you're 18, then you're a derelict. It's funny how that works. But there was even this female that I'm very close with for many years, and she she hated the blue hair because she's very conservative. And but then I said, but you watch, we're going to go out places and people are going to stop me. And she didn't believe me. And then she saw it with her own eyes. And she even told her friends like, yeah, I didn't think at first, but. Yeah, he should have the blue hair because everywhere we go. And it's a conversation starter. You know, now I just look like every other idiot in the world. But uh, so here's the thing. I've been thinking about this lately, and I did take a poll from one person. Now I'm going to take a poll from. Wait, how is it a uh, poll from one person? It's an opinion from one person. It's the same as the presidential polls. They ask one person, and, you know, all of a sudden somebody's leading in the polls. (laughs) Okay, so I'm I'm just following our leaders. Okay, that's all I'm doing. And okay? how is it getting them anywhere? <laughs> Go ahead, ask your question. <sighs> but anyway, I don't think we should ask Rachel because she hasn't known me long enough to know all the those things. So I think we should ask Rachel. But uh, we'll ask Rachel. But I think we should focus on you, Rebel. Okay. So <laughs> Rebel, Rebel. Here, here, and we should have pictures actually. That's what I forgot to do. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do is I shit. The pictures are on my phone. I got to figure out how to do this. I want, here's what we're going to do next week's show. Yeah. I'm going to have show, pictures ready that we're going to, cause I just thought of this now. So, cause of this question and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload pictures of previous pipe man and current pipe man. And we're going to pick the winning picture for possibly my next step in my hair development. Okay. So we went from first one went into personal development. The second one went into uh, heroin development, but hair development. Uh, No, heroin's not one of my problems yet. Okay. But it, Working the way on the world is going, it's on Why its would way. you say yet to that? <laughs> because the way the world is going, it's on its way. They're putting heroin in everything. It's like, like you know, listen, you can't mm-hmm. get big pharma without getting heroin. The war on drugs opened the world up to big pharma creating heroin. That's what the war on drugs. Thank you, Nancy Reagan. You notice our drug problem is way worse after the war on drugs. Every time we declare a war on things, it gets worse, not better. What the hell is with that? Okay. But anyway. Okay. So how many more do I have to give you? Two. Two more? Okay. I thought it was hair and only fans. So three more. All right. Three more. Okay. The third one is that I don't even know what the... The third one is that I have co-hosts on the show that are staring at their phone while they're on here. No, I'm just kidding. 
Now, the third one is, is that I am like this anomaly here in 2024 that has gained us banned from TikTok. Okay? <laughs> so you got to be pretty bad to get banned from TikTok. Okay. TikTok is the Chinese. So. They allow everything. Okay. I know. What happened? And, and we got banned. Apparently so my, not whatever we got banned for. <laughs> the other number four bad thing about me is that my goal this week is to get banned from TikTok again. <laughs> no, okay? I, I turned it off. Uh, why? Because she doesn't want to get banned from TikTok. No, I got it. it took me a whole week to get that shit back. And you know, I'm not capable of getting that shit back. I had to have somebody, I had to have cousin boyfriend do that. Wow. <laughs> cousin boyfriend. Yeah, somebody oh. in the family has brains. It's not me. <laughs> well, we already knew that. That should have been on your list that, that yeah. you didn't give us. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. And I would say my fourth thing about me is. My choice in co-hosts. <laughs> wow. Love you too. No, yeah. I love Rebel, but Rachel, whole nother story. Uh, and I like Aww. to know, Rachel, is your tongue as big as the one on your shirt? And does is Mick Jagger like licking your stomach right now? That's why I like that. Oh, you like that? You like those ninety-year-old decrepit? <laughs> man, do you? But uh, actually, he's not, man. Like, I have to give it to him. The action that he puts out on stage at his age, he should be yeah. dead not do doing that. But that <laughs> oh, don't say that. Don't. Tony, well, Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> they've been talking about Keith. They were talking about Keith Richards, that he should have been unalive for the last 50 years, and he's still going. So what does that say? People, if you want to live a long life, do a lot of drugs. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, 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 of people that have lived a long time, oh. let's talk about Slayer. They oh. started in what? <laughs> no, no, you, have to, you have to say it right, Rachel. Unless you say it right, I'm not talking about it. Say it right. What? There's only one way to say it. Say it right. <laughs> no, you got to say Slayer. Slayer. Oh. Okay. So here's the cool thing. I was totally excited last week. The announcement came right before the show. It just totally let, put the show off the rails. Like everything we were going to talk about took a back door, uh, just like Rebel. And <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Uh, well, let's go back to that because we've asked this question before. Rachel, do you like it in the back door? Oh, look at that. Like real quick, she's like, yes. You know why? Because she's had so many of these experiences that she doesn't even feel it in the front door anymore. <laughs> like the no, I wow. went ten years. I went ten years without. Yeah, I don't freaking believe that for a second. See, ten here's the thing: about... since she brought it up, no, since she brought it up, okay, I have yeah. to bring it up. I wouldn't have brought it up on the show, but she brought it up. We when we were talking before her coming on as a co-host she's telling me like she hadn't had sex in like 10 years 10 and all of a sudden years. we start the show and she's having sex with her cousin like come on what's I wrong guess 10 with years will change your mind about things i mean 10 or years you're, or you're just oh. or you're just desperate after 10 years okay how like, can anyone go 10 years once yeah. you start you don't want to stop well, Even when it's bad, yeah, you just move just, on. You know what? Once it shuts down, it's just like shut down. And then once it gets turned back on, it's just like, it's it's like, whoo, right? It's like a dirty faucet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You just can't it'll keep leaking. Okay. So back to Slayer. Okay. So yeah. okay. I was, <laughs> I'm so excited about it. They're playing louder than life. They're playing Riot Fest, both on the Pipe Man radio tour. In fact, before I even say anything more, I think we need to hear a little bit about Louder Than Life. What do you think, Juan? Mm -hmm. do, 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 He's trying. He's trying. He's trying, trying, trying. Louder Than Life. The loudest weekend of the year is back. Louder Than Life in Louisville, Kentucky, with the reunion of Slayer. Slipknot. I think Motley Crew. Corn. Judas Priest. 
Fight the dog. Disturb. You're not being a monkey down with the sickness. Five finger death punch. Arms wide open. Breaking Benjamin. And falling in reverse. With Heaven Essence, The Offspring, Till Linderman, A Day to Remember, Stained, Hailstorm, Gojira, Anthrax, and so many more. Over 150 bands, nonstop rock for four days on five stages. September 26th through 29th in Louisville, Kentucky. Passes on sale now as low as $10 down at louderthanlifefestival.com. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. God, I have chills. I, I am so ready. I am so ready for all these festivals, which we'll talk about a little more before the end of the show. And we're going to do some ticket giveaways and, and tell you how we're going to go about that. But cool. back to Slayer. Okay. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. There's a lot of drama. You know, here's what I thought would have happened with COVID. Okay. Like before COVID, people bitched about music. They bitched about lineups. Everything was bitch, 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 bitch. Okay. We should. We need a sound effect that does that. Like, um. So, basically, I thought COVID would cure that because people had two years without live music that they'd be like, "I know how I was. I was like, I don't care if Rachel's uh, son get got up on stage with a recorder, and it was a live show." I'm there. Okay. Like I didn't care what the music was, which remind me one of you two to ask me after I talk about Slayer, what I did as totally out of the pipe man's comfort zone this last week having to do with that. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, there's people bitching about this Slayer reunion and I'm like, what the, what the, like so they started in, in the 80s, right? Like, what was it, 81? Early 80s, yep. Early yeah, 80s. I forgot the question already. We went, we went for 38 years until 2019. What did, did they dissolve because of COVID? No, they didn't dissolve. Uh, so basically what happened was is Tom, uh, you know, he was tired from touring is basically mm-hmm. the story that we know. So they were doing their, they did two years of final shows. And I was at the second to last show ever. I was at their first show ever. Wow. But, mm-hmm. uh, but you know, it, it is grueling. People don't understand. And I'm, I'm bringing this up for a reason too, because I saw comments about, th- about them uh, and, and saying negative stuff about them quitting and then that were like wussies and this and that. And I'm like, dude. Do you even understand how grueling it is to go on tour for 45 years? Like, seriously. Like, it, it, people think it's all fun. There's about 45 minutes to two hours of fun. The rest of it is not necessarily fun, okay? Yeah. And so, you know, and people are talking about it because, you know, they said it was their final show ever. Mm-hmm. Like, how many bands have had their final show ever and they come back and do more? Like, be happy about it, okay? Oh, it's, like, it's like when McDonald's brings back the McRib, okay? Be happy about it. I hate yeah. the McRib, but everybody thinks it's like the greatest thing since crushed ice, you know? Mm-hmm. But I love those sunglasses, by the way. Thank uh, you. They, and they definitely do a very good job of covering the bad makeup job. Not a bad makeup job at all. (laughs) It looks uh, good. Yeah, you look hot, Rebel. At least that's (laughs) what a platypus would say. (laughs) And and so, anyway, the thing is, is why are you being negative, people? Because Gary Holt, who is the guitarist for Exodus, but is also the guitarist for Slayer that took over for Jeff, may he rest in peace, who passed away, Mm -hmm. who uh, was one of the main components of Slayer, but Gary's wife said the smartest thing ever. What? You know what she said? No. Can you guess? Why don't you guess first, Rachel, and then you guess, Rebel? She said, fuck it. It was a good run, and, and, it's, and, and now it's over. And eh, eh, now, Rebel, okay. your turn. Rally Rebel, your turn. Well, she probably said he would want y'all to go on without him. No. Here's what no. she said. If you don't like the Slayer reunion, here's my solution. Don't go. 
Like what a <laughs> concept. What a concept. People nowadays, like they have to say all this negative shit about everything. If you don't like the idea that Slayer's playing uh, reunion shows, don't, don't pay for go. The <laughs> Who cares? Pay for the There's ticket, don't people go. that want it. And nobody mm-hmm. said they're going on tour. They've announced two shows. That's it. They're two festivals. That's it. What are you doing, Rebel? Looking for another pair of glasses. <laughs> oh, I have to pee. Uh, well, then why don't you give a why don't you take a pee, but give us a description while you're peeing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those like little porta potties. Like to put next to y'all. It, when could we're doing, like, uh, it could be like those bullets, you know, the bullet blenders. You bring that. Yeah. You, you can use that. And then, I and then you have lemonade. Then you have lemonade in case you're caught in the Andes somewhere. I don't know if anybody's yeah. seen that Netflix movie about that plane crash where they were stuck in the the. Uh, uh, what what was uh oh they were uh I can't believe I'm drawing a blank that sport duh. Uh, it was, I know what you're talking about. It starts with an R. I can't believe I'm drawing yeah. a blank like football rugby. This rugby team crashed mm-hmm. in the Andes in the seventies. I saw that. Those and, poor, and then they started eating each other. And, and, shit. and they had to eat each other to live, you know, and yeah. it was a whole big thing. So you got to watch it. It's a great movie. Was the but, person yeah. dead? The first person they decided to eat was that person already dead. Oh, no, like, there, lots of people no, no, died they were, before it's they only were the people like agreed dead. on eating each other. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Had, okay. So they and, didn't have to pick like, who's going to, who's going to go first. I mean, no, no. And like they actually, who, before people were dying, the they were having a talk about it. So, like, one of them said, yeah, if mm-hmm. I do die, please eat me. At least I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were like, yeah, you can eat me. Yeah. See, this should have been on movie. Re- this is what should have been on movie reviews and more, is this movie. Because right? it just came out. There was a version way back when in 1993. And it's like a really good movie. So, check it out. Yeah, it was, but, it was good. But. What was I saying anyway? You were talking about the Slayer tour. <laughs> yeah, no. somehow we went from Slayer to like, yeah, to, to eating people. Okay, so Slayer to eating people. That's not a far stretch, I gotta tell you. But yeah, <laughs> just don't go, people, man. Like, why are people bitching? Every lineup that comes out, I hear people bitching. Okay, here's my number one favorite bitch. Not. Oh, when a band, the only band they want to see drops off for whatever the reason. And then it's like, oh, I was only going to see that band. Then go to their freaking concert. You don't go to a festival that has 150 bands or 60 bands or 30 bands for one band. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Get a tall glass to shut the hell up. Will you you bitching negative people? You bitching negative people. Like, Come on, this is exciting news, okay? And and why do people have to be such haters? That's another thing. You know what? You guys will have to remind me. There was this TikTok. I might have saved it, but I have to find it again. Where they had these gymnasts that were climbing on top of each other to make like a pyramid, and it looked really cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the comments in the comment section were like hilarious, but rude. You know, like yeah. you know step on the quat <laughs> waffle and and stuff like that and, you know wow. just really bad but you know come on people social media we should be all learning how to get along man where is rodney king on socials when you need him okay that's that's what i want to know but here's what we got to do right now before we move on i just want to say go to slayer if you don't want to don't freaking go but don't ruin it for the rest of us that are super freaking excited about Slayer. I mean, because it is going to be yeah. badass. I'm super se- uh, stoked about Kerry King's solo project, too, because it sounds like Slayer and it's badass. So you got to check it out. But right now, let's hear about some of the other festivals on the Pipe Man Radio Tour, because, mm-hmm. man, I, I might be adding one of my favorites. I uh, just talked to people yesterday, Punk Rock Bowling. Madness was supposed to play at the last punk rock bowling and it got canceled because of COVID. And I was so bummed and they're going to be playing at this one. There's cool stuff going on. The new, no values, uh, festival, another cool punk festival. There's going to be on the pipe man radio tour. There's going to be welcome to Rockville punk rock bowling. Probably, uh, there's 
Another one I'm not going to mention yet that we're working on. There's Sonic Temple I won't be at, but we're doing ticket giveaways on the show. There's uh, mm -hmm. Incarceration, Download, Leads, uh, possibly Grass Pop, possibly Hellfest, possibly Vakken, uh, and then uh, Bloodstock, the Heavy Metal Awards in the UK, and mm -hmm. then there's going to be Louder Than Life, Bourbon and Beyond, which I won't be at because I'll probably be at Riot Fest. And mm -hmm. then there's going to be, one. because I can't miss Slayer. And mm -hmm. I wanted to get, go, but I can't miss Slayer. And then there's Aftershock, which you're announcing right after this show. Mm -hmm. it, there's a whole mess on the, on the tour this year. Like, it's blowing my mind. There's more festivals now than ever before. We thought music was going to be dead after COVID. It's more alive than ever. So all you negative Nellies, shut the hell up because we have live music. And yeah. we're going to go and we're going to see about ticket giveaways to incarceration and cool. bourbon and beyond. Roll it, Juan. Sound the alarm. Incarceration Music and Tattoo Festival is back with Shinedown. Godsmack. Breaking Benjamin, Hailstorm, The Offspring, Chevelle, Bad Omens, Chimera, and so many more. Report to Historic Ohio State Reformatory this July 19th through 21st. Three days of nonstop rock, tattoos, blood prison, haunted house, and more. Passes on sale now at incarceration.com. The world's biggest bourbon and music festival, Bourbon and Beyond 2024. A perfect blend of bourbon, culinary, and music with Zach Bryan. Dave Matthews Band, Tyler Childers, Neil Young, Beck, and Louisville's own My Morning Jacket, Matchbox 20, Cody Jinks, Merritt Morris, and more. September 19th through 22nd in Louisville, Kentucky. On sale now at bourbonandbeyond.com. Okay, so first of all, Rachel, are you looking for a heart of gold? I am. Yeah, baby. How about you, Rebel? Uh, no. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay. You guys can be entered to win tickets to one of the following festivals. Welcome to Rockville, Incarceration, Bourbon and Beyond, Sonic Temple, Aftershock, Ladder oh, and yeah. Light. Ladder and Light. Here's what you got to do, people. You got to follow Pipe Man Radio on all socials everywhere. And you have to direct message me with uh, because I need to get petitions signed. Mm -hmm. You need to direct message me telling OnlyFans to approve my account. Okay? <laughs> if you do that, you're entered to win the tickets. And you could be hanging out with the Pipe Man at any one of these festivals on the Pipe Man radio tour. Now, awesome. when I talk real quickly because it's almost the end of the show. I Wait, talk. you didn't tell us. You didn't tell us what you did different. There, there's than more. You to th we'll have to postpone that, okay? Ah, because yeah. I want to talk about worry real quick. First of all, oh. worry, okay? Don't stop worry. Be happy. Worry, stop worrying about things that may or may not ever happen. We're in this world that everybody has anxiety, so they worry about things that never even happen in their life, and they spend their like weeks depressed, worrying about stuff. And all it does is make a negative effect on your life. There's nothing positive that comes from it whatsoever. And whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You're worrying ain't going to stop it or make it happen or what have you. So you know what? Like Rachel said, don't worry. Be happy. We'll talk more about that on another episode. Rachel, give us the 30-second elevator pitch on the rodeo in Texas. Oh, my God. It's so much fun. There's, like, a lot of food. It's really, really good. There's a lot of booze. I went to the cook-off, so it was free food and free booze if you can get into the tent. I spent the whole night running around, bullshitting my way into different tents. It took me a whole week to recover from this. So I'm just now feeling, like, you know, back to normal, and, you know, it's yeah. A little bourbon will do it for you. Okay, Rebel. Yes. Give us your 30 second elevator pitch of what's going on in racist Louisiana. Oh my God. We're not the only state that is accused of that. And you need look to at that. that. She just admitted that it is racist, though. She admitted everybody it. is right. I've come to the conclusion that everybody has um everybody's racist in their own way. Everybody. Nobody can say they're not. Because it's it's blatantly obvious. Everybody I'm is. racist against platypuses because they have no nipples. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Nice fun fact. Uh, here's another one you need to add to your tour. You need to add the um, Louisiana Jazz and Heritage Festival to your tour. You'll I'll be surprised right on who's that. playing. Let's do it. <laughs> send, me, send me the info. I'll get on it. So right. you also were going to, you were going to, you guys were going to ask me something. That's how we won the show of the thing of uncomfortable for the pipe man. Yes. What, what did the pipe man do that is out of the pipe man thing when music was down? I took salsa and merengue lessons. Ah, let's see. I, I went, Do we have a video I, of this? No, no video. Oh, we but I, am, I am Plug going tonight. Video. I'm going tonight again. There's this tequila bar that does the salsa yeah. and merengue and bachata lessons. So I'm going tonight. Okay. Yeah. And there's a, there's a reason too. Okay. So there really is a reason. And then we got to get off because we're already late here. Okay. And I'm screwing mm -hmm. one up. But videos for the um, OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, we need videos for the OnlyFans. That's do cool. your videos. Go to your merengue. We want proof, but do it for the OnlyFans. So, like, anybody that knows me knows the only dancing I do is in a mosh pit. And, mm -hmm. like, and like, place. but every Friday back, eh, back in Florida, there's this live Latin band that plays at downtown the gardens all the time. And I always go there. Because I do love Latin and live Latin music, but I also am in so awe of these guys that can salsa and merengue and bachata, and they're so good at it because they can get any woman anywhere. Okay, so basically, I love I I need to learn for that reason alone. And funny, my friend at SiriusXM, Jose. He did the same thing recently too, and he—it's out of his element too. Like we're metalheads, man. But listen, if you can do that stuff, broaden your horizon. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. You get at the world is your oyster. And listen, I'm in Costa Rica. Might as well do it. I saw it when I was in Mexico a couple months ago. This guy I was hanging out with at the bar. I mean, he was ugly as sin. He got to dance with every girl in the bar because he was so good at it. So there you go. And we're else we were going to talk about before we left my hair oh yeah we're going to do that next week we're going to vote on my hair okay pictures, and we're, pictures and we're going to go and so you got to tune in next week and every week to the adventures of pipe man right here on w4cy radio talk for tv at 1 p.m eastern 12 central uh 10 pacific sometime in bali i don't know and Costa Rica, uh, Just to your are, time. we're going to be changing because we don't change the times here in Costa Rica. And so I'm going to get off of this show. I'm going to go do some salsa, some merengue, some yoga, some surfing. And man, you pipe nuts are the freaking best. I love you guys in, in spite of yourself. And <laughs> everybody, thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Roll it, Juan. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.